You're a penultimate comedian of the show. Uh, uh, give it up. Uh, on tour, or, you, or do you live here now? I live here. He lives here now! God damn it! Give it up to Dion Arnold, everybody! Keep playing this second census, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My gift all night is the cookie. There you go. Physical comedy. Uh, you're right, Sean, it was bad. Um, <laughs> no one likes physical comedy ever. Uh, hey, everybody, uh, what's going on? You guys, uh, you guys like the pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> you guys having a bad time? Is this is this not fun for you guys? Are we not having a fun time right now? You guys, are you guys not having a fun time? We are here to have a fun time, are we not? Yeah, maybe not that guy, but everybody else. He doesn't look like he's that fun yet. You guys are laughing, having fun. Fucking best man that there's ever been. Come on, this is great. I love it. I fucking love it. I, I love it. Some people, I guess. Don't love it. <laughs> he's just mad he can't get a haircut. He can't get a haircut. It's, it's really cutting into his, uh, his barber time, you know? He usually gets to go spend some time with the guys, the fellas. Can't get a haircut. I, I loved it. I loved quarantine. I feel amazing. I don't talk to people anymore. I turned out, turned out that was my problem all along. <laughs> Turned out I fucking hate people, and I do not hate them. And now I'm like, fuck, I'm happy, wow. Let's go talk to a room full of them. That was my problem. And I just come here to fucking say, hey, fucking hope everybody dies. I'm having fun. Also, I've never made so much money in my life. So this is amazing. Thank you, uh, Government of Canada. <laughs> All of my checks. <laughs> oh, but I get it if you can't get a haircut. It's tough. It's tough out there if you can't get a haircut. It is tough. It's tough to not be able to get a haircut. I dyed my hair bleach blonde by a river, so <laughs> I don't really fucking care about it. <laughs> I guess there are some drawbacks. Spitting. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> At the orgies. That's pretty frowned upon. You know? You guys know that a New York sex club opened up a week in? Sorry, a month in. A month in. It was a month. They waited a whole month and then they were like, I think we can figure it out. <laughs> we can get around that. Yeah. We're a sex club. We didn't kiss anyways. <laughs> and every time they were just like, Instead of lube, we just use hand sanity now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It glides. It glides. That burns too, but it glides also. So, like, it's fine. It glides. Yeah, how do you guys feel about squirting? She looked at me like it's never happened. And he looked at me like it's never happened. And then I looked at myself and was like, it's never happened. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a fan sometimes. It's, you know, like, okay, like, like once. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this is a fun water park. All right. Got my tickets. This is a good time. <laughs> Snuck in. No wristband. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. This is a little splash room. Oh, oh. Little splash park for kids. All right. This is nice. It's a good neighborhood. You know what I mean? And then two times, and I'm like, I, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly is your thought process here. We are on the bed currently where we sleep. And then three times, and I'm like, I have to throw a bed out now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do sheets. This isn't going to work. I like queefs, too. I think queefs are fun. <laughs> Oh, everyone's awkward now, huh? <laughs> oh. What's a queen? Please explain. Never heard of that, or even heard of one. Uh, they're the nice little sound that gets made uh, to, to compliment your dick. 
You know that one that goes, hey, look at you. Look at all that space you made, huh? Good for you, bud. Look at you. Oh, what a, what a gentleman, you know? What a 2020 guy just making space for women. I don't think that's what they meant when they said make space for women. Uh, I tried to get, has anyone tried to get an STD test recently? Woo! Yeah, someone's fucking, all right! I, uh, I did, I, uh, got, I tried to get one like two, three weeks in, and they were like, you can't come here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they did super mad at you for being in the hospital during COVID. <laughs> they were very like, you're not here for the right reasons. And I was like, I had to lie to get an STD test. In order to get an STI check, I was I had to be like, no, I have Rone of the Dick. <laughs> yeah, you need to check me for coronavirus because I'm I saw some in my APB earlier. <laughs> uh, so there's just probably just like a whole bunch of Rone up in my dick and in my butt. Uh, so you can just like check all that out for coronavirus and also chlamydia. <laughs> With all of the symptoms for coronavirus, for me, have been showing up as uh, similar to chlamydia. So just right in, right in there. <laughs> yeah, they did not. They turned me away. They were like, you can go fuck yourself and die. You're not supposed to be uh, touching other people right now. And I was like, whoa, whoa, who said anything about touching other people? <laughs> I was never going to do that. I already did. That's why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to be socially distancing. But listen, I was never going to be there for her emotionally. <laughs> I was always gonna fuck her and leave. Don't pull her up. Well, she guys were fun at first. And then, and then I remembered your people and I was like, ah, I gotta go. It's fun, it's nice to be out of the house. I've just been sitting at home drinking espresso, just getting gacked every day. That's how I do it. It's fucking great. This is great. Um, I, w I do want to say one thing before I go, uh, something important, because it is important that we uh, notify, uh, just remember what a fucking dumpster fire America is, and I hope we never help them with anything ever again, except for maybe, uh, like, one more underground railroad. Can we do that? <laughs> we, just, we just fucking save all of the black people down there and just bring them to Canada and not be racist ourselves also, please. Um, that'd be awesome. It's, like, it's so bad. I can't believe. Uh, to the point where, like, it's made me, like, all of the riots and everything and how horribly it's been handled by the American government as well as the American people. Like, I'm, at this point, uh, sad that we didn't, uh, like, vote for Al-Qaeda. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as, like, a woke move in 2020, like, that fucking nothing more woke than Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Like, just a fucking group of uh, people of color that want Trump dead. <laughs> we fucked up so hard. We look so, there is so much cake on our face, or egg, or whatever it is. You know. Anyway, it's a bunch of racists in here. Uh, <laughs> come on, that's, okay, because if you don't laugh, then I just said that, and I mean it, and it's weird. Um, <laughs> That you guys are a bunch of racists. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm Dion Arnold. You guys have been amazing. You're gonna love your headliner. Thanks so much for being here. Keep coming back.